Now, not to put too fine a point on it, something's stirring down in deepest, darkest Essex. Yes, agonised screams and axe-wielding old woman and pools of blood, it's not the reporter, <laughs> have become commonplace in the village of Bocking near Braintree. Undaunted, Diane Stradling has been investigating this tale of terror. Just go and stop interfering. Oh, come Please, Barn, I'm just trying just to do my go. job. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God, no! Uh, yeah. It could be straight out of a horror movie, as indeed it is. Yes, the lights, sound man and director's voice all rather give it away. Forget Transylvania, Essex apparently scores high in the spooky stakes especially Dorwood's Hall in Bocking. It's already set the spines tingling on these stars. I think it's got something quite evil about it, maybe because it's so old. Actually, somebody said to me, do you want to go down and have a look in the cellar? I said, no, thank you. I'm a bit scared. I don't like things like this, actually. Exactly what writer, director and Essex-based Paul Cotgrove was looking for. I went to see quite a few, I must admit. This location just stood out. It's fantastic. You know, I visualised the film in my, my mind and I came here and I thought, wow, this is just it. Slate 62, take one. Gee. Action. Good afternoon. Sam told me you were back, so I thought I'd pop over and see how you are. Hello. How's your hand? Fine, thank you. Green Fingers is Paul Cotgrove's first movie. Short but sinister. It's about a very Essex lady loving her gardening. She's obsessed with her garden. And um, what subsequently occurs, you can love your garden too much, you know. Action! It's the first time Elizabethan Dorwood's Hall has been a film set. Its owners had reservations. They thought, well, maybe I might be doing a blue movie or something here, and that, was, <laughs> that worried them a bit. So I didn't realise there was so much, you know, it's, it's incredible that how long the um, sets take and, um, you know, how long they take to shoot. Does it make farming seem like a piece of cake? Oh, my God, no! Well, yes, it does really, yes. <laughs> At least one of the hall's occupants remains less impressed by the movie business and eerily unmoved by the sinister scenes and sounds. Diane Stradling, Anglia News, Bocking. That's even, a cat for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Didn't even flinch. <laughs> no, we should have watched that behind the seats, though, shouldn't we? All like that. <laughs> cat we were? I was. Were you? <laughs>